Hey sports fans, there was a lot of good and exciting news in Philly sports this week. Let's start with Colin Gillespie and the Villanova Wildcats. Villanova graduate guard Colin Gillespie was named the 2021-2022 Big East Player of the Year. Gillespie led the Wildcats to a 16-4 record in Big East play with 16.1 points and 3.1 assists per game. He was the fourth leading scorer in the league, trailing only DePaul's Javon Freeman Liberty, St. John's Julian Champagne, and Marquette's Justin Lewis. He also led the Big East in free throw percentage at 91.5%, and three-point percentage at 43.1%. He was sixth in the league in field goal percentage, making 44.7% of his shots. Colin was also named the Big East Scholar Athlete of the Year for his strong academic performance this year. He was one of two 4.0 student athletes on the Wildcat roster for the fourth semester, along with fellow graduate student Jermaine Samuels. These awards are the latest of a long list of accolades for Gillespie. He was the only unanimous choice for the All Big East First Team, and nationally he was named as a third team All-American by the Basketball Writers Association and the National Association of Basketball Coaches in 2021. Congratulations to Colin Gillespie for being named Big East Player of the Year. Villanova's Colin Gillespie nailed consecutive late three-pointers that put number eight Villanova ahead for good. And the Wildcats beat Quinton 54-48 to take the Big East Tournament Championship Saturday night at Madison Square Garden. Villanova missed 11 of 13 three-pointers and only led 19-18. Yes, only 1918 at the break. The Blue Jays got going first when Alex O'Connell hit a three for a 41-39 lead and waved his arms to cheering fans down the court. Cork Brenner dunked and unleashed a yell as he ran to midcourt and was mobbed by teammates. Gillespie was courageous in the whiny minutes, hitting the go-ahead three over the outstretched arm of seven foot one center Ryan Kalkbrenner with 2.44 left. The 6 for 3 senior then grabbed a rebound at the other end and came right back and drained another jumper over Kalkbrenner. The Big East Defensive Player of the Year for a 50-45 lead, sending the Wildcats on their way to yet another championship under Jay Wright. He led the second seeded Wildcats with 17 points and Moore had 16 on a night when points were tough to come by until the furious final minutes. Justin Moore and the West of Villanova starters circled Gillespie and fired him up before he went to the free throw line in the final seconds. The two-time conference player of the year hit both and was soon mobbed by teammates at midcourt to kick off the championship party. Final score, Nova 54, Quinton 48. Good luck to the Villanova Wildcats in the first round of the NCAA Tournament against the Delaware Fighting Blue Hands. Sixer center Joel Embiid had 35 points and 16 rebounds, and the Philadelphia 76ers kept rallying, finally beating the Orlando Magic 116-114 in overtime Sunday night. Down by 17 points in the first half, and trailing by 10 in the fourth quarter, the Sixers were behind 113-109 with a minute 25 left in overtime. The Magic led 57-40 late in the first half, in which the 76ers shot 33%. A 10-footer by Georges Nyane and free throws by Harden and Embiid helped reduce Orlando's lead to 12 at halftime. Harden responded with four free throws, and Nyane hit two three-pointers to get the 76ers back in it. And B made a three-pointer to put Philadelphia up 101-98, its first lead since the first quarter. James Harden hit one of two free throws 
with 6.7 seconds left in overtime to give Philadelphia a two-point lead. Cole Anthony missed a three-pointer at the horn for Orlando. He finished with 26 points, and Tobias Harris added 25 for the 76ers. Wendell Carter Jr. led Orlando with 23 points and 12 rebounds. Final score, Sixers won 16, Magic won 14 in overtime. Good luck to the Philadelphia 76ers in their next game against the Cleveland Cavaliers on Wednesday. The Union's Corey Berg and Daniel Gazdag each scored one goal, and the host Philadelphia Union defeated the San Jose Earthquakes 2 0 Saturday in Chester, Pennsylvania. In the 18th minute, San Jose goalkeeper JT Malinkowski made a stellar save off a header by Nathan Howell from point blank range. The Earthquakes earned their first corner kick in the 22nd minute but they played it short and nothing materialized. Philadelphia then went ahead 1-0 in the 23rd minute when Sergio Santos sent a crisp pass through the box which Burke tapped into the net. Santos nearly extended the lead in the 30th minute, but he pitched a shot from about 18 yards out, just wide of an open net with Malinkowski out of position. In the 41st minute, San Jose's Christian Espinosa wiggled free just outside the top of the box and whipped a shot which was gathered up by Blake. The Union pulled ahead 2-0 in the 58th minute when Gazdag scored on a penalty kick. San Jose's Jackson Ewell was whistled for a handball in the box, setting up the penalty kick. The Earthquakes had two scoring opportunities in the 80th minute, but they weren't able to get on the other end of a cross and then a shot was blocked on the rebound. Goalkeeper Andre Blake earned the shutout and head coach Jim Kern picked up his 100th career victory with the Union. Kern became the 13th head coach in league history to win 100 games and the ninth to do so with one club. Congratulations to Jim Kern for getting his 100th win as Philadelphia Union head coach. The Colts are trading quarterback Carson Wentz to the Washington Commanders for a package of draft picks. Wentz spent one season as the Colts quarterback after Indianapolis gave the Philadelphia Eagles first and third round picks for him in February 2021. The number two overall pick in the 2016 draft went through 27 touchdown passes and tied his career low in interceptions with seven last season. His long-term status with the Colts came into question late in the season. However, as he struggled in the team's final two games when it had to win only one to make the playoffs. An MVP candidate with the Eagles before tearing an ACL late in the 2017 season. Wentz lost his starting job to Jalen Hurts during the 2020 campaign, which led to his trade to Indianapolis. Wentz is headed to his third team in the past three seasons and will face both of his former teams in 2022. He completed 59% of his passes, threw two touchdown passes, and had two turnovers in losses to the Las Vegas Raiders and Jacksonville Jaguars to close out the season. He threw for at least 200 yards in only two of the final eight games. In the upset loss to the Jaguars in the season finale, Wentz posted a career low 4.3 total quarterback rating. Wentz will play the Eagles twice and travel to Indianapolis to take on the Colts this season. Let's welcome Carson Wentz back to the NFC East. In what year did the Philadelphia Union make their first appearance in the MOS playoffs? The answer, 2011. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. 
and you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let's Talk Sports.